Here's how to cut a rack of ribs without chipping your knife. Sometimes people find that cutting through a rack of ribs is what causes them to chip their knife. It's easy to avoid if you take a look at what you're cutting before you start running your knife through it. If you take a look at the ribs, they're on a bit of an angle, so instead of cutting perpendicular across them, kind of match that angle of the bone and slide your knife through. Things to look for before you cut through your ribs are to see if there's any bones at the bottom of the ribs. Sometimes before cooking, you can dig those out with a little paring knife or be extra careful when you're cutting to aim your knife to go between the bones, not through the bones. Now, if you are cutting and you do feel the knife hit the bone, it's not the end of the world. Don't be pushing too hard, but back the knife out, move the knife over and start again. You'll find sometimes with things like lamb racks or racks of ribs is the bones will actually kind of curve a little bit and not go straight. So you'll want to basically follow along that curve. You can see as you're moving the knife, you feel it running into the bone. So you can adjust the angle of the knife and then keep that same angle as you move through the rack. keep running into a bone. See, I keep stopping every time I hit that bone. I'm gonna take a look and see what's going on. I was going at the wrong angle. So what I did is I stopped what I was doing without forcing the knife through and changed the angle and I was able to get the knife to slide easily through the meat without hitting the bone, thus not damaging my beautiful knife. Don't be afraid to cut through meat that's got bones in it. You just need to find a road map before you start cutting. Look at where the bones go and line your knife up to go between the bones, not through the bones, and you'll be fine. Just don't be pushing too, too hard. And if you do run into the bone, back the knife out and change the direction the knife is moving so that it doesn't run into the bone and you'll be golden. Thanks for watching our video on how to cut through meat with bones in it. If you liked the video, leave us a comment, hit the like button, subscribe, uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or just come and see us in one of our stores in either Calgary, Edmonton, Vancouver, or Ottawa. Look forward to seeing you, and thanks for watching.